Hi guys, welcome to this very first episode of From the Forum. Super excited to be launching this. Um, it is the third video series we're trying to get off the ground here. So just to recap, we're gonna be doing a weekly live Q&A through Instagram Live, which will go up on the YouTube channel. That's gonna be Ask Where to Fly. Um, then there's Drone Chat, which is gonna be a weekly episode where we just talk about drone related news, kind of um, just rant about uh, a specific drone related topic. And then finally, I think this is my favorite uh, from the forum where we dive into the Where to Fly forum, uh, see what everyone's talking about, try to answer questions, um, and just uh, kind of see what's going on in the drone community. So we're gonna jump into the app. For those of you who have not yet seen it, um, the, we have added a forum to the Where to Fly app. It is new, it's about a month old, really excited. Um, it's starting to grow and people seem to be enjoying it. So um, you can access it right within the app. Um, so let's just jump into it. Going on to general, uh, the general forum section, let's take a look at what people are talking about. So the very first topic I wanna to discuss today is uh, a post made by Robert. He says, do propellers make more noise over time? Um, uh, that's like the topic. Um, he says, hi guys, I haven't used my drone for a while and I used it for the first time yesterday. It sounds louder than I remember. Uh, I have been flying on the same set of propellers for a year and was wondering if I should replace them and that could be the cause of the louder buzzing noise. Good question. Um, so uh, we have a few replies. Sam was saying, um, not sure about the propellers getting louder over time, but you should replace them after 200 hours. That's what he says. 200 hours is a, an okay metric. I've heard that used before. Um, a metric I would prefer to go by simply because I think it's more, uh, re more accurate to when you should replace the props on your drone would be after 10 hours. I've read that in a few, uh, like, t uh, publications from DJI, like some of their print uh, that you get with the packaging. Um, it says after 10 hours, you want to replace the propellers um, just because of normal wear and tear, even if it's not chipped or anything like that. And obviously if it's chipped, you want to replace it right away. Um, and so over time, yeah, you do want to replace your propellers. In terms of creating more noise, there shouldn't be a huge difference, but um, they definitely could. Um, Cloud Surfer added also, I want to say, let's see, he said, there's a coating on the blades which degrades with exposure to UV. Check the flex if they are weak or they will get weak over time, as well as chip and crack. I'm told that 10 hours is a safe life for carbon, uh, safe life, carbon fiber is different. Yeah, exactly. So that's exactly what I would say. Um, not exactly sure about the noise, but um, definitely you do want to replace your props uh, on a regular basis. 10 hours is a good metric to go by. All right, so let's see what else we have here. This is a topic I actually posed to the forum. I wanted to ask people if they noticed a big difference um, when flying with areas that have a high amount of Wi-Fi, a lot of Wi-Fi signals, um, housing, and just more interference. I wanted to know if they noticed a big increase or decrease, I guess a decrease in range, how far you were able to get with your drone. So I posed this question uh, a little while ago. Let's see if anyone has uh, answered or come up with anything. Okay, so um, I said, do you notice reduced range when you're flying in an area with uh, a lot of Wi-Fi signals? That's basically the essence of the question. Um, Sam again uh, replied that he definitely noticed a big loss in range with his Phantom uh, 3 standard. That's the drone I normally fly with too. So that's actually kind of why I was wondering. It makes sense because your video is actually transmitted on that 2.4 frequency, which is the same frequency that most Wi-Fi works off of. Um, so it makes sense, um, especially since it's not using DJI's light bridge technology, they are gonna notice reduced range over um, in areas with a lot of Wi-Fi signals. I was just curious as to what people's experiences were. Here in the Bay Area, um, there's pretty much every piece of land is populated. There's a lot of wildlife, but it's oftentimes national parks and stuff, um, and those are great to fly in. But obviously, you can't fly in national parks, as I'm sure many of you know. Okay, let's see what else people have been talking about. Okay, another thing I actually posed to the community was the number of close incidents and close calls we've been seeing in the news lately with drones, obviously, and manned aviation. 
Um, I mean, I think this is going to be kind of, you know, it's going to be in the news. It's going to be in uh, culture for a while. Um, luckily, nothing has happened uh, majorly um, in terms of uh, airplane, um, you know, crashing because of a drone. Um, but because drones have the capability to fly high and uh, fly near airports and people aren't always educated on how to fly safely um, and how to avoid no-fly zones, they're gonna be they're gonna be problems and they're gonna be a lot of close sightings. So um, let's see what some people had to say about um, the fact that there's another close miss. So this happened a little while ago, um, but somebody so Robert said, "Wow, this is the reason that the public's opinion on drones is so negative." Oftentimes, thanks for sharing. Yeah, I'd have to agree. I think that one of the biggest. Uh, concerns the public has with drones and I have with drones too is that there would be a serious incident where uh, an airplane crashes due to a drone. Um, I don't want to say it's bound to happen but there's just very little to stop somebody from flying a drone into an airplane and yeah the, the chances of it are not very high right you have to fly it probably into the engine of an airplane for it to actually do damage because airplanes are meant to be able to take a hit uh, they can birds will hit them and they're not gonna crash so a drone should be able to hit an airplane and it shouldn't crash um, but when something like a drone gets in a jet engine it, it can be catastrophic and there have been a few a few studies actually i know recently that have been um trying to find out the impact of it but um i have to check kind of more into that and see what the most up-to-date um information on the impact of a drone would be in the event that it hits a jet engine but anyway, that's all we have for this week's episode of From the Forum. Um, uh, jump on the forum, ask your questions, uh, get chatting, and next week we're going to talk about all the new topics on the forum, um, dive into them, and talk about uh, hopefully more topics. So keep on writing, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.